do you get too many notifications? Or maybe you want your notifications to show up in a different corner of the screen other than the bottom right? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the notification settings in Kidding Plasma, including how you can actually disable specific apps from sending you notifications if you want to. The easiest way to find these uh, is, per usual, is to hit the super key, type in note, or type in, start typing in notification, and you'll see notifications there. This menu will come up and we'll run through these settings. There's a lot of checkboxes here, but they're really not that complicated. The top set of options here are for do not disturb. And the first checkbox turns on do not disturb automatically when your screens are mirrored. I think this is intended to really be for when you're giving a presentation, but some people really want to mirror their screens from maybe their laptop screen to a bigger screen. And so maybe they don't wanna extend it, maybe they just wanna mirror it. And that might be something you wanna tick off if you want to do that a lot. Other times, I don't know that I always necessarily mirror a screen for a presentation either. So I don't know that this is actually gonna help me as much. It's a, it's a tricky thing if this will actually be helpful for you, but you can either toggle it on or off. So there's also a keyboard shortcut option. If I click here, it'll give me the, in, it'll ask for an input. If I press just escape, it's gonna come up and say escape is my key. I'm gonna back that out just cause I don't need that, but that's another option to enable do not disturb mode for a keyboard shortcut. Something that's kind of missing from the list here is just enabling do not disturb, but you can enable do not disturb by going down to your notifications icon if you have one visible. If you don't, you can click this little up arrow here and then click notifications and then turn on do not disturb right here. So you can manually toggle it on that way as well. And this, by the way, this is your notification history window when it's talking about that as we go. Next one, it just decides whether you, uh, this for critical notifications here, this just decides if critical notifications show in do not disturb. So that's things like low battery, things like that. Normal notifications show over full through screen windows. You can toggle that off and on. Some people want that, some people don't, but that would be something if you're watching maybe a full screen video, it would not pop up notifications over that. They would just go straight to your history. Low priority notifications, you can either show those, uh, you can include those as pop-ups, but not keep them in the history. So any low priority notifications, I don't see show up here. So here's where you can actually change where these notifications pop up. So if I want to have it pop up somewhere else, I can click here and it's gonna ask me where and I could have them show up in the center of the screen if I wanted to. Uh, I do not want to do that, but I'm going to not save these settings, so I'm not gonna end up doing that. But that's how I could do that. I could also have it auto hide either on a longer or shorter period. Maybe you only wanna show, have them show up for two seconds, or maybe you want them to show up for 10 seconds or something. I don't know what kind of nightmare world you wanna live in with that, but that's your choice. Application progress. So these are things like files being copied, files being zipped and unzipped, things like that, that are showing up here. You can have this show in notifications and you can keep the pop-up open or let it go away during progress. So if you want, don't like that file copying uh, dialogue that comes up in the bottom right hand corner by default. If you don't want that happening, you can actually turn this off so that that doesn't stay open. It, it will probably just go down to a badge here in the bar. Speaking of badges, you can actually show those in the task manager or not. And that is things like, I believe this might be one, but this right here, I believe this is definitely one. So. You can see updates. So updates is probably, I think that's coming from Discover. And if I wanted to not have these pop up down here, I could just turn these off entirely. If I don't want specific applications to send me notifications though, I can do that too, right down at the very bottom. So down here, you'll see the applications menu. I can click configure, and this will list out applications that can send you notifications. So for example, Discover. If I go in and I turn this off, I can actually prevent Discover from sending me things like, I believe this update. I can even go into configure events 
and it's going to show you these type of events that are coming through. These are all the events I believe that developers have put together that should send out a notification. So let's see if OBS is in this list. I do not see it, so it's not here. But for example, this KDE Plasma integration, that's right over here on the left. It's asking me to go install this. So I can have this show up, I can have this show in the history, or I can configure this. So the only notification it actually sends by default is this screencasting failed. So let's take a look if there's anything else. Device notifier. So this is when you plug in a USB device, you'll actually see like this pop up down below. That's one thing. If you don't like that for some reason, you can turn that off right here. All of these in this list are things that if you don't want to have notifications from them, you can just turn them off. And if you ever need the Mac, you can come back to this menu and turn them right back on. But this is really nice if you want to turn off notifications from specific apps or even specific types of notifications from specific apps. It. Notifications menu, very simple, but it can be something that if it gets on your nerves and you need to turn off notifications, it's important to know where to go. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.